one, two, three, go. I see you, got them other girls dying to be you. Uh. I see you, it's a little dead, cause you be illegal. Uh. So peaceful, but you hold it down when you need to. Uh. Stay single, you don't need no man to complete you. I see it on your face, yeah, on a roll. Always busy on the road. Get your money, then you go. Graduated on a roll. No half ass girls and her crew. She pop, pop, pop that ass for who? No man, unless she knows it's true. She ain't got the time to waste it on no fool. Who would have knew when I look from the moon? See the hottest thing out, it ain't even June. God damn you, fine. Oh my god, my, my circumcised. Open, open, damn you, smoke it. Close, words, damn, I'm choking. Yo, body, ooh, kill him. For the look, but I can't find her. Yeah. Never knew bad would have been this perfect. I think I'm a eater. Hey, what's up, everybody? I'm Erica Austin, and this is DefiniteMason.com. Erica on deck. Now I'm here at the Tea Room in Brooklyn, New York, and I have a special guest with me. We got a certified professional trainer. Everyone, please welcome Sir Wilkins. Hey, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You too. It's a pleasure. Oh, you doing? Oh, oh. Well, I, 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 I. Hi, everyone. <laughs> so I was watching a couple of your videos. Mind you, I tried them out and within five minutes I gave up. It was, it was really intense. I don't do workouts like that. Why Working out is picking up a fork. So you got a personal trainer to teach you how to do something. You know See, I've had a few and they worked me out to a certain degree and then just gave up. I feel like it should be harder on you. Well, it should be harder on you or you gave up? No, pretty much I gave up. Now well, let me ask you a question. Where did you get certified at? Certified? I got certified way on. I was on the ASSSI. Okay. Yeah, so I'm certified with them and from NASM as well. Mm -hmm. um, that's it. That's How many it. years have you been doing this? I've been doing it professionally for two years. Like, all together three. Mm -hmm. Worked out friends, but then it wasn't like one of the books or anything like that. That's what we count. Really? So, okay. personally, like two years. Okay, so let me ask you what is the most difficult, difficult part of your job? The difficult part of the job is. Is getting people to sometimes buy in, mm -hmm. so that it's, it's also their responsibility. Okay. Like I tell everybody off the when I meet them, I'm not Jesus. <laughs> of course. So I'm not. I can't do miracles unless you work with me. Mm -hmm. So when you when you're training somebody and you have a personal training, it's a team thing. Right. I can give you a workout. I can work out. You can work out three times a week, four times a week, whatever. Mm -hmm. But if you're not working on your own. Fall and you like fall off part, and if, you, and if your diet is like to the shit, mm. pardon my language, I don't know if it's on PBS right now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fine. Um, it's not, it's not gonna work. Like, like I'm not gonna sit here and not and just tell you like personal training is like the key. Like you also have to have a, a decent diet. Well, let me you know, ask you, how many times should a normal person or the average person work out per week? Per week, it yeah. should be. It depends. It depends on what your goals are. To let's say lose excess fat when you put on your belly. Once again, that's a little too broad. All right, look. What if I wanted to gain muscle? Lose hey, this. Lose this. Up my butt. Yeah, you got to like, I would recommend at least four times a week. You're doing a lot. I'm, I'll take two. Four is a lot. All right. But um, what's the most satisfying part of your job? When people get the results that they want and they're like, when when they're a better person than when they came in, basically. Now, have you had someone that's really difficult and you gave up on them and was like, I can't handle this, you're on your own? No. No. Uh, very stubborn and hard. Okay, that's fine. Um, well, what can you tell me? I didn't do it. Is that a big head joke? No. That's for me. That's for me on the spot. I think she's trying to play with me. So, what should a person look for when they're looking for a trainer? What sticks out with so they really the key to be, you know, look out? Number one thing is if you're vibing the right way. Okay. Like, I tell new people that want to be trainers and stuff, you have to have a personality as well. Mm -hmm. You have to be personal with the person. And if sometimes, if, if the vibe is not right, you might not like deal with that person. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? No, that's true. Because you're going to spend an hour, an hour, whatever time of your life with that person. Mm -hmm. So, say you're working out with them three times a week, three hours, three hours a week, you're working out with that person. Mm -hmm. And if you can't stand your trainer, move on to another trainer. Yeah, you got to move on. Make sure he's hot. That, no. What? If you be motivated, you're going to want to go back and back. I would. If you don't. <laughs> you don't agree? <laughs> oh, you do. Nobody else agrees. How do you work out? What do you. 
what right now I'm on the, um I'm powerlifting. I'm okay. training for competition. Mm -hmm. So my workouts a little bit different from an average person. Mm -hmm. So powerlifting basically is the three major lifts: squat, deadlift, and bench. So in a competition, you, you try to go for like a one rep max. Okay. If you don't know what one rep max means, that means no. pushing it one time. You know what that means. I'm sorry, wait, what? That means pushing it over, that means, that means repping it out one time. Repping right, what out? Just the weight, the weight, the weight. Oh, okay. So you're deadlifting, squatting, mm -hmm. and bench pressing. So it's a whole, it's, it's um, I'm doing work right now, so I'm a lot heavier than I used to be. Okay. I'm about 220 now. What's the heaviest you can lift? The heaviest I can lift right now, my max numbers are, my deadlift is about 520. My squat's about close to 500. Oh, wow. My bench is 370 right now. My community doesn't have a lot of fitness, mm -hmm. so I also do like boot camps, free boot camp once a week. Oh, so tell me about that. What is it? What does it consist of? So it's like a high, high intensity workout, all different planes of motion I try to get into. Mm -hmm. Meaning, not just going forward and backwards, going like side to side, different types of incorporate core, back, chest, all of that, all together in one boot camp. Because mm -hmm. the thing is, I feel like our community, like the inner city doesn't like, especially where I'm from, don't really work out. Right. And, and, and they don't have the tools mm -hmm. or even like a place to go work out. Right. So it's like, all right, you know what? There's no excuses to not to come to the boot camp if it's free. I was just gonna ask you, it is free, right? It is free. Okay. And the only thing I ask is just like, you got 200 bucks in your pocket, throw a donation in the pile, 50 cents, whatever. This is just so I can pay for the room. Okay. Every, to get people to start working out, mm -hmm. even if it's just once a week, it's better not doing that at all. Yeah, that's true. And then the thing about it, when you start working out like consistently, like, oh, wow, I'm gonna work out, work out again. Mm -hmm. More and more, you wanna do it more. It's like, you're kind of addicted to it, you're enjoying it. But you, especially if you start seeing the results. I was working out with a trainer, and I'll tell you, people think because you're small and petite that you don't need to work out. Let me tell you, my back is wide, but when I was working out with her, she drove me crazy, my back came in like a vase. So I really saw results, and my legs were toner, then after a while I quit. Well, people think, um, the thing about it, ironically, like, People base their fitness on aesthetics. Mm -hmm. So a person could be like a big and mm -hmm. then people think that that person's out of shape. Yeah. Like some of the best like Olympic Olympic lifters are the most athletic people in the world. They're huge. Right. And it's different ways of fit. Like you could be a thick girl, a bigger girl, and mm -hmm. still be and still be fit. I've met guys who guys and girls who are skinny as hell who can't do nothing. Really? Because they can't move, because they sit at a desk all day, mm -hmm. they can't do anything, but because they aesthetically look all right, they can't, they can't move. Right. I call those, those are usually called skinny fat. Alright, all right. I like that name. So, anybody right there watching that wants to be a professional trainer, what advice would you give to them? Read, mm -hmm. research, and try to get better every day. Okay. And find what you like, find your niche, find your niche. Find what fits you. You're like, oh, I like to lift, so I'm gonna research on lifting. How to be a better lifter? Well, I'm a big yogi person. Be a better yogi person, or I'm gonna be this. Find your little niche and get better at it. You still want to add different other things to it, but you still want to find where you fit in. That's the, that's the biggest thing I have learned. I was trying to be all over the place. Like, oh, I like to lift. I want to teach people how to lift. And it's not the be all to everything, but it's an aspect I can you become really good at it and teach people how to do it. That's not bad advice. I hope everybody was listening out there. All right, so tell everybody where they can find you on your social media. Social media is pretty simple. It's all Sir Wilkins. So it's S-I-R underscore Wilkins. At Twitter, Instagram. You don't know how to use Twitter? You don't know how to use Twitter? We're still laugh. Okay, keep going. You don't know how to use Twitter? Well, keep going. No, we're not, we're not, no, no. You don't know how to use Twitter? We're still airing. Yeah, we're still What about your Instagram? Oh, Instagram. <laughs> Instagram is the um, same thing, S-I-R underscore Wilkins. Facebook? S Facebook, Sir Wilkins, same thing. Snapchat? Snapchat, same thing. Erica same. Chap? Erica Chap? Mm -hmm. It doesn't exist yet, but we're going to do it more. All right, whatever. All right, we're going to take a short break, but when we get back, Wilkins is going to challenge me in your boot camp, right? Yeah. I can't wait. We'll be right back. Don't worry. Right. Cool. I, 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 I didn't say anything yet. I got to say, I got to say welcome back. DefinitelyAmazing.com, Erica on deck. I'm your host, Erica Austin, and I'm here with Sir Wilkins. About to do a challenge with him real quick. He's about to show me a little bit of exercises, and um, I'm going to leave here with a bigger booty and some calf muscles. All right. All right. First, first, first things first, we're going to do a high plank. Okay. So what I want you to do, you're going to get up in a push-up position. You have any injuries or anything? Just to make sure. Yep, I have scoliosis. 
So you got bad knees? You got bad knees? Yep. Mm -hmm. You really have bad knees? No, I'm just kidding. That's what I thought. <laughs> so, also, we can, we, that's fine. Oh, no. You'll be all right. It's not that much of a big deal. So, all right, cool. You're gonna get up in a push-up position. You're gonna make sure your wrist is underneath your shoulders. Okay. Everything's all lined up. Feet out, straight up, out. And what you're gonna do, you're gonna, you're gonna kind of like bring your hands onto the floor, like you're kind of twisting the floor with your hands. And then you're gonna stand nice and tall in this position, just in this position right here. Mm -hmm. Squeeze your booty. Get all tight and all this, all this stuff. You're gonna hold that. For how many seconds? Five minutes. You see what I'm doing? Doing a lot. Doing a lot. Five minutes, that. two hours. All right. So 24 you, hours. No, all right. Look. Six hours. Eight Did hours. Did you hear that crack, everybody? I'm old as hell. So I'm gonna oh, time you. I'm gonna time you. God. Ooh. Oh. Now wait. <laughs> so hold that up and head down. Bring your hips a little bit higher. You're doing right. a lot. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. I am squeezing my butt. So that's, that's why we're here. It's not tight enough. <laughs> hold that, hold it, that up. It's the shorts. Good, nice. <laughs> You're doing good. I know that. This was the strongest part of my other training thing. You got 10 seconds left. You got five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop. Now what I want you to do now, you're going to do five push-ups. I'm sorry, what? You're going to do five push-ups. I can only do one. We'll try for Okay. Five. Yo, you're doing a lot. <laughs> do I get paid for this? First of all, I said, I said, I said, I said, I said, oh my bad. <laughs> you guys didn't see that. <laughs> see, what exercising does to me, it messes up my head. Wait, so do you, you want the cheating push-ups or the no, real I want the, ones? I want to see the real one because you can hold up your, your body. You have good um, <laughs> trust ability, so let's see if you can. One. Two, Ooh, check out everything. Three, three, four, four, and five. Up. So what you're gonna do now? You're gonna take the sand bell. Sand bell's about 12 pounds. That's a lot. And you can be no smart. Okay. You're gonna bring it up. Uh huh. Slam it down. Pick it up from a squat position. Up again. You turn I'm it already out of breath. That is bad, and I'm not even that old. No, you just want me to lift it up and lift throw it, it down. Yeah. Lift it up, throw it down. You're gonna do ten of those. I'm sorry. What? Let's go. Come on. This is why I don't have trainers to begin with. One. That's your head. Two. Spread your feet a little right. further apart. Yeah. <laughs> now see what you're doing. You're bending from your back. I want to complete. As soon as you're about to pick it up, squat down. Yep. Your head right. again. My head again. Is that the best you can do? She's throwing down harder than you. It's like six. Seven. Come on, go faster. Eight. Nine. And ten. Now you're gonna do ten jumping jacks. Go. One. Two. two three. Oh, it's head four, in that face. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. And ten. Thank you. All right. All right. So now, what we're gonna do now, we're gonna do a little hopscotch. I played that when I was. Hopefully not too old to remember. No, no. This is also Lady Barbara. I know, that's what we'll get you after. So, we're going to jump in, jump out. Jump in, jump out. After all the way to the end? All the way to the end and back. I got to go backward too? No, you, you just going oh, to turn around and do it again. Oh, my God. Not that serious. Jump in and then do it. Like I said, yeah. Boom. Oh, oh. Look like a superstar. Look like a superstar. Oh, yeah. Get your hair braided after, my mom. <laughs> Come on, keep going, keep going. All right. One, two, three, go. I see you got them other girls dying to be you. Uh. I see you into the dead because you be illegal. Uh. So peaceful, but you hold it down when you need to. Uh. Stay single, you don't need no man to complete you I see it on your face, yeah, on a road Always busy on the road Get your money, then you go Graduated on a road No half-ass girls and her crew She pop, pop, pop that ass for who? No man, unless she knows it's true She ain't got the time to waste it on no fool Who would've knew when I look from the moon See the hottest thing out, it ain't even June God damn you fine, oh my god, my my circumcised Open, open, damn you smoking Close words, damn I'm choking Yo, buddy, ooh Welcome back to Eric on Deck on Amazing.com As you know, I am, I'm beat I shouldn't even be beat this beat because I didn't work out that long But I am, I am beat, I'm tired I'm sweating Anyway, let's get 
a round of applause, sir. Welcome. Thank you. I shouldn't talk to myself. That was very. You should. That was very. Is there anything myself. you want to say to the viewers? So what we just did was a little bit something little I call bit. superhero training. And why is it called that? Why is it called that? Because we're all superheroes. I agree. We're all we're all trying to be better. We're all trying to save the world, or save our lives, save our health. We're trying to kill the, the evil person that we call fat. Oh. And bad health. <laughs> And bad, and bad diets. So it's called superhero training because we all, our life is a movie. Why, make, well, why not make it a superhero movie and be the hero of that movie? That was a little deep. You know? I, I, love, love, I love, love it. That was really deep. I, I love it. Um, but yeah. I, but I, I actually really need that. Okay. I'm I'm I love it. I'm I'm it. Sure. Yeah. Superhero by night. Yeah. I was like, well, who do you think he is? He's Sir Wilkins. Uh, yeah. um, Sir Wilkins? Yes. Sir I Wilkins. Know. Guys, you know, I, it's not my show. You know, I'm just here. Just to so you can hear himself talk. Yeah. Um, so, this is the first episode for Erica on Dick, everybody. Yeah. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. And she didn't die, everybody. Not that I was going to pass out. I'll do it in the car. Yeah. But I'm happy. I think I got a little. Erica said I'm weak. I am. Yeah. Two, three, so. go. Oh, I'm going to be you. 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 I'm going